Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Sarah's Kitchen. Hope you're all having a great day. Um, I am making cinnamon rolls, but I'm gonna make them kind of like the monkey pool bread. But I have one already made, uh, the dough, and I'm gonna show you guys how to make it because there's a lot of questions as to how to get this going. It's so foolproof, it's really simple, and you can make it, anyone can make it. It's super simple. I hope you guys um, try it and give me your feedback. I'm gonna put two cups of milk in my pot. I'm gonna turn on the stove, and I'm gonna get the milk to get warm warm to the fingertips or if you really want to know 113 to 115 degrees with your candy thermometer not more not less your yeast won't get activated so you need two cups of milk you need half a cup of sugar this is all for the dough i put vanilla in there you don't have to if you don't want to one tablespoon of vanilla I also put a pinch of salt, and some some people put egg, you may, I don't. Pinch of salt, and one stick of butter. I'm gonna turn the pan on, and I'm gonna get this to warm up. As the milk is warming up, it'll get nice and warm. This butter is from the refrigerator. It's not soft room temperature butter. I find this to work the best. You can use room temperature butter as well, by all means. This will just get the milk to cool off faster. It's, it's, um, it tempers it. So as the milk is getting warm, there it is. There's the milk, we're really doing this. I just have a weird angle with my camera. There it is. As the milk is warming up, the butter will temper it so it doesn't get too hot and I can add the yeast to it. And then the butter will gradually just melt. I just want to make sure that the sugar is blended in there and that'll really not take long at all. It's done. The sugar is mixed in really well. And we are gonna let this happen. Oh, we're gonna put it there, not to get my counter dirty. And the temperature is high, not too high, but I want this to be quick. And I'm gonna feel the milk. It's gradually getting warmer. I use my ring finger and, you know, having had three kids, I kinda know lukewarm milk. That's good. It's almost there where I'm gonna turn it off. It's almost there. I want it a little warmer than 113 because when I turn it off, the butter will melt and temper the milk, which means it'll cool it off faster. And then to that, I'm going to add my Fleischmann's Active Dry Yeast. You see the bubbles forming on the side of the pot? That's it, I'm gonna turn it off. That's so quick. That took three minutes from the beginning of me talking. That is super quick. Okay, now I'm gonna show you guys, I have a dough that I made last night, and I'm gonna show you guys how we're gonna make our cinnamon rolls out of the dough I have. I'm gonna move this to the side and let it cool off just a little bit. This area is warm, that's why I moved it, because that'll help it cool off to the 113 degrees. And this is the only thing that's gonna go into that, plus four to four and a half cups of um, flour. There's a little bit of milk in there, let's put it in there. All-purpose flour is what's gonna go in there, and we're gonna let it rise. So once I add the flour, I give it, it can take anywhere from two, I know you don't see me, but it's more important for you to see what's gonna happen here. Anywhere from two hours 
I did this last night late, this, and I let it rise. And here it is. It took, this is 12 hours later. You can expedite it and it'll rise anywhere between two to three, four hours. It comes up, bubbles up like this, and this is its first rise. And now we're gonna pop it out. And I'm gonna show you guys. This is my famous cinnamon roll. This is Miss Jenner's favorite. <clears throat> there it is, look at that gorgeous dough. And I'm gonna scrape the plastic too because I hate to waste. And I'm gonna make it today not in the traditional roll. I'm taking it to a party. It was my beautiful niece's wedding last night. So I'm gonna, we have a day after party. I'm gonna make it and take it over there. And it's, uh, I'm gonna make it into little cinnamon balls, kind of like monkey bread. And it's fun for a party because it just becomes like a finger food. You just grab it. Here we go. Put some more flour over, some under, so it doesn't stick to your surface. This is beautiful dough. Look at that. This is its first rise. That means I made it last night. It was in this stage, this stage of liquid and milk, liquid and milk, milk and butter. And I added the yeast and I added the flour and I let it rise. And here's what it looks like 12 hours later, or you can do this five hours later. I just had to go to sleep. I wasn't gonna wait for it. So this is its first rise. Now you can put it back in your pot and let it rise again. I'm gonna actually make my cinnamon little balls <clears throat> and then put it in my pot and let it rise in there. That's also a step or an option. This, I'm gonna go back to the milk and show you guys that I'm tempering, I'm checking the temperature. It is absolutely perfect. It's perfect, perfect, perfect. And I'm gonna add my yeast to it now. You add one packet or you can add two teaspoons. I'm gonna eye it because I have been doing this for so long. I know how to eye two teaspoons. There you go. My dogs are having a ball outside. That's it, that's the two teaspoons I'm gonna add and I'm gonna let it sit for about five minutes and then I'm going to add the four to four and a half cups of flour. Meanwhile, if your yeast sits in there longer, you know, let's say you get distracted and you're baking and you get distracted and you forget to go back in and add the flour, nothing's gonna happen. It could sit in there, the yeast could sit in there for, oh, I don't know, 10 minutes, half an hour. Nothing will happen. Nicholas, can you go grab Gus and Coco? I don't know if there are coyotes outside. All right, so now we're gonna roll this out on my floured surface. This is so simple. Okay, here we go. It's really super simple. We're gonna roll it out. Now, if you guys like my recipes, if you found me on Instagram, or I don't know if you found me on YouTube, and you like the recipes, go ahead and hit subscribe. And that way, I believe when I post a new recipe, a new video, you guys will be notified and give a thumbs up or write me an email if you have questions or 
<clears throat> on Instagram, you can follow me, DM me, or comment. I always respond to everyone. Here we go. I roll it out nice and thin. And then I'm going to make, add the topping to it. Look at the flowers about to spill over. Here we go. That's it. That's perfect. And the other dough that we're prepping is starting to bubble up the yeast. We're just going to let it be. We're going to scrape off the flour. And here's what we're going to do. I have soft butter. It's soft, 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 soft butter. Yum, yum, yum. Here's what I'm going to do. I am going to figure out how I'm going to do this because I want to make it into my little like Mikey bread little balls where I can pull them apart. Just roll it out and we're going to cut our strips. So simple. There's no designing. There's no thinking about it. I'm just going to cut the strip. Take the flour off, roll it into a little like a sausage, right? And just get your little pieces as big as you like or as small as you like. This will puff up a little bit more. And I'm going to pop it in this pan. Just lather the bottom. I'm going to spray it with my baking spray. You could do butter if you like. This baking spray has flour in it, so it won't stick. I'm going to pop them in here. You guys can see where this is going. And then the soft butter. Ooh, that was hot. Here we go. Yes, you hear my chickens? This is so simple. Then the topping for this is going to be really just sugar and cinnamon. And it could be as big, as sugary and cinnamony as you like. Even with one hand, you can just it in a little ball. You don't even have to roll it out. I just wanted to show you guys. And if you don't want to do this process, what you do is you lather it with butter, room temperature. You just literally take your hand. If you don't want to use your hand, you can use a brush. You could also melt the butter and add the sugar and cinnamon to that and pour it over. I've done all of those. Though right now I find using my fingers and spreading it over works the best for me. And then what you would do is add the cinnamon and sugar, half a cup of sugar, half a cup of butter to about a quarter cup of cinnamon or more if you like. My dogs are licking the floor. There's flour on it. You guys are so silly. Hi boys. So a quarter cup of cinnamon or more if you really, really like it cinnamony to a half a cup of sugar and a half a cup of butter, which half a cup of butter is also one stick of butter, not those giant sticks, which is also 113 grams of butter. I give you guys all these measurements because I get asked and you would lather it and then you would roll it into a long tube like, and then you would cut your strips up. And you would place it in your dish and bake. At 350, it takes longer. You wanna bake it slow and long. So 350 for about 35 to 45 minutes, depending on the oven. 
your oven probably actually closer to 40 to 48 minutes, I've noticed. You want it to slowly bake through and through. So I'm lathering these little nuggets, I like saying that better, in the bottom. And then what's gonna happen is I'm gonna layer it with the cinnamon and the sugar. If you get the sugar and cinnamon in the bottom of your pot, it will, it will get burnt and dark it won't be too attractive. There we go. But we're piling them up on here. And meanwhile, my yeast that we were making the other dough is perfectly bubbled. You guys see that? I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna take a second and show you. That yeast is activated. You see all those bubbles foaming on top? all of here that's activated that's ready for the four to four and a half cups of flour that we're going to add to it okay now back to these little nuggets that we're making and if you go bigger you'll fill up the bottom of your pot faster you can put this in any shape you like i like my spring form because I just pop it open and it comes out great. You could put it in um, loaf pan, any, any cake pan you like, honestly. It's perfect. Just kind of scoot them all in the bottom because we're gonna lather it up. I have used brown sugar, I've used white sugar, it makes no difference. Brown sugar has more liquid, it's more molasses -y. so it'll be a little bit more moist. I'm gonna use white sugar this time around. All I can say is experiment, it's your kitchen, it's your home. It should be your rules. I'll just give you guys guidelines and you make it your own recipe. It makes me so happy when you guys DM me on Instagram or tag me or tell me I tried it this way, it was great, or I tried it this way and it didn't work. So next time I'll do this, this other way. That's perfect. My kitchen has no rules. It has to be based on your lifestyle and people in your home and your loved ones and why you're cooking or baking. Isn't that why we're all in the kitchen? To make our family and friends happy, happy. There we go. So now I'm gonna literally pour some sugar over. I have half a cup here, so I kind of know where I'm going with this. I'm gonna add some cinnamon, as much as you like. I say quarter cup, but I kind of wing it. There we go. It's got a half cinnamon, people. That's how I see it. And this is the best way to do it with this tip on it. There it is. And now I'm gonna put the butter on and literally, look how soft it is. I'm just gonna brush it on. I'm gonna use my knife because I don't wanna walk away and get a brush and it gets stuck to the brush, so there, just brush it on. Just spread it on there. I guess spread is better than brush it on. There we go. A smaller knife might have been better, but I didn't want to get off camera for you guys. And it doesn't have to be perfect because it'll melt and get everywhere. It'll get everywhere. Oh, it's so good, it smells so good already. <gasps> there we go. Now next strip, there it is. And then I'm gonna do the other dough. Remember I cut this in half. This will fill up really quickly. Now we do that to get all the flour off. There it is. And just pinch and pop off and throw in there, bada bing bada boom. 
right? Same thing. Tap off the excess flour. It'll just make it hard. <clears throat> the flour, you don't want it to get baked in there. This process has to get on YouTube because I get so many questions regarding the Cinnabon dough. So it'll be a long, slow video. And I think so many people are visual. I'm also visual. I need to see to, con to get the concept. Not a lot of people, not not a lot of people, but a lot of people prefer to see the steps rather than read the directions. I just find that so helpful myself. You see, it's so, it's so easy. It's so simple. It is so simple. Just roll it into a little strip, more like a sausage, a little, give it a little width and pop them out. You don't even have to like twirl it if you don't want to, okay? And the other way you can do it is literally not even roll your dough. You just have your dough, you just pop it off. I rolled the first time because I wanted you guys to see if you want to make literally cinnamon roll and roll it up into a log and then cut the strips off that way. But if you're making monkey bread, this way is so much quicker. Wait, look at that. You're gonna make another layer and add your sugar and butter. sugar, butter, and cinnamon, don't forget, and that'll melt and get in the crevices and uh, coat the whole thing. You can add icing. I don't add icing. I just, people like it as is. If you wanna make icing for it, feel free. I've made cinnamon, uh, cinnamon. I've made cream cheese icing for it before. That works really well. Um, kind of think of your occasion. When it's for home, I don't make icing. If it's right out of the oven, people will enjoy it because it's so gooey and soft and warm. But if it's gonna sit, you may do icing. Now let's do the butter first. There it is, I'm just gonna spread it over. You see that. Doesn't have to be perfect everywhere. It'll get everywhere, I promise. If you're taking it to someone's home, it depends who it is. Try and make it, manage it so it's warm. You know, if it's a long distance you're going, take it there and bake it. It'll smell the house. It'll make everybody happy and anxious to try it. I've done that too. I did it for Mother's Day. I took it to my girlfriend's party and I baked it in her oven. Everybody was so anxious for it to come out to taste it. There's the sugar. <coughs> Gus and Coco. There's the sugar. Look, and I measured half a cup of sugar. I'm not even halfway through it. There we go. Pop it all in there. The top's becoming a little bigger because it's easier to just pop it out. Gus and Coco, come here. You guys know my motto, real kitchen, real home. This is not a studio. This is real food. I'm actually making it and it's actually gonna go somewhere and people are gonna enjoy it. It was my niece's wedding last night. So, ah, you know what? You're gonna kill yourself with this Dough, raw dough is the worst thing for your dog or cat because it's gonna go in their belly and get fermented, so be careful. 
it happened to us. We almost lost Coco to raw dough. Um, there it is. This is the end of my dough. And I'm going to add more sugar and cinnamon. Stop. They're licking the flour off the floor. Are your dogs as crazy as mine? They will eat anything. Sometimes they eat rocks. And I know that helps their digestion, but how strange is that, that they know that? Sometimes they eat grass, and that makes them throw up. Uh, very strange. All right, that's it. That's done. The rest of the butter, remember this was one stick, half a cup. The rest of the butter is gonna go on there. Just get it everywhere. It'll cook as it's cooking, baking. This will melt and get all over every single one. Don't stress if some pieces don't have it. They will all get it. And as I was saying, you want icing do so I think today I'm gonna do cream cheese icing and take it there because I know the place I'm going to yeah they love 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 it's rich and gooey all right and the sugar oh my gosh look at that and I'm not gonna put the entire half a cup. It really doesn't need it. I still have leftover. I will put more cinnamon over it. And I'm gonna let this sit for about an hour. It could sit longer. I'm just gonna let it sit because it's not time to bake it and take it. We're just gonna let it sit. We're gonna cover it with this plastic so nothing gets in there, and we're just gonna let it sit aside. <clears throat> then you're gonna bake it for 40 to 48 minutes. You gotta check it. Now I wanna show you guys what happens with this one. This is the process. This is the yeast. I'm gonna add the flour to it. Four cups of flour. We add four initially, and then we'll see if it needs more. Here's one. Once your yeast gets activated, which is those bubbles that I showed you guys, that was two, three, and four. I might add another half, let's test it. And by that, I mean, let's just blend it, mix it, fold it, whatever you want to call it. I like to fold it. And you want it to be in a pot wide enough and high enough for this to rise. This has a lot of liquid still. You see all that liquid? I know I'm going to add another half a cup to this. So I'm going to do that right now just a half a cup <clears throat> and then in 12 well anywhere between three to five hours this will rise I like to let it rest if I'm in a hurry I can do this within one day I can start it in the morning and by tonight I can bake it if I'm in a hurry I like to give it a day and a half to do its thing. I really do. <clears throat> you may, there are other versions as I've told you guys, you may add eggs to this, two eggs. There it is, you see there's no liquid. It's perfect and it's not too dry. It's just perfect. These are the best spatulas to work with. That's it, you're gonna cover this with plastic and then you're gonna leave it somewhere. That's it. Look at the consistency. It kinda looks like a wet, wet Play-Doh, right? I'm gonna 
cover it with plastic, and I'll show you guys how, so it doesn't get crusty up top. I'm gonna use this plastic because I want you guys to see it, and then I'll cover that like this, loose on top, so it doesn't get crusty. That's the plastic covering it. And then I'm gonna cover that, the entire pot, with my towel, and I'm gonna let it sit somewhere draft free. You could hide it in your oven if you like, not on, and this will rise in about maybe two to five hours. I have told you guys, and I will repeat, I'm gonna let it rise um, probably till later on today, because I have, um, I wanna cook it tomorrow. You have that option, or you can cook it later on today. That was it, that was our video for today and I'm gonna bake that and I'll show you guys how that looks. That was our Cinnabon. Hope you guys enjoyed my video. Thumbs up, hit subscribe and email me if you have any questions. Have a great day, thank you.